Okay, we're going to now calculate a uniformly distributed load. Uh, so again, we have a simple beam with a uh, pin down here on this end and a roller connection. This is 16 feet long, by the way, this beam. And we have W1, which is going to be equal to 100 pound feet. And the first thing we want to do is we're going to create a free body diagram of this. Uh, so I'm going to draw a line. And this, by the way, is eight blocks long for my line here. So I draw that in. And then we're going to sketch in the forces that are acting on the beam. So I'm going to come down one block here and recreate that line. And now I'll put in the forces. And I do that simply with these little arrows, looking just like this. Now we're going to put in the length of our beam. So that's going to come right here. And our beam is 16 feet long. And we're going to label our reaction forces. So we do have a reaction force on the left hand side here. And uh, this is going to be RA. And we have a reaction force at the far end. So this is going to be RB. Now that we've got that completed, we can now put in the uh, force. We're going to annotate that. So I'm just going to draw an arrow here. And I'll come off of here. Go across. So put that arrow. And then this is 100 foot pounds. Okay, now we got to move into doing some calculations. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to sum the forces in the y direction. And so here's what we're going to write. I'm going to write the sum symbol. And this is sum of the forces in the y has to be equal to 0. Those forces have to be equal to zero so that our beam stays in equilibrium. That's so it doesn't break or bend. And those forces in that Y have to be, uh, in the Y direction, have to be equal to zero. Okay, so now we got to start writing out the formula. So we're going to have RA. So I'm going to write R A here plus R B and then uh, the next force that's going to be acting on this beam is a negative one because these arrows are pointing down and that is going to be minus 100 and that is pound and then that's over the length of the beam which is 16 feet and that all has to equal zero now we're going to continue to uh, simplify this little formula down so R A plus R B and then we're going to take the negative 100 and the 16 and multiply that times together and then we're going to so we end up with minus uh, 1600 pound feet squared LB feet 
squared whoops, equals 0. We simplify that again. Ra plus Rb equals 1600. And that is going to be pounds. Actually, these pound feet up here canceled out. I made a mistake there. So you end up with Ra plus Rb equals 1600. We have two unknowns here. We can't go any further with this calculation. So we have to uh, now sum the forces of uh, the moments. Okay, so the next formula we're going to use is uh, the sum of the moments. So I'm going to go down a few blocks here. One, two, three, four. So I'll go right here and I'm going to write the sum of the moments and that is around force A has to equal zero. So now I'll start uh, putting the formula together. So we have reaction force B here and what we have to remember is that moments are a force times a distance. So I'm going to take our uh, reaction force B times 16. The next uh, force that we encounter is the uh, 100 foot pounds coming down. And that is going to be over uh, 16 foot distance. So this is going to be uh, minus because it's pushing down minus 100 pound feet okay and that's over a distance of 16 feet also oops gotta write the FT there okay forgot the FT over here also slipping and then, because this is a uniformly distributed force, what we have to do is find the center of that. So we're going to take uh, 16 feet and we're going to divide that by 2. And then that's going to be times the reaction force at A. So RA. And that's at a distance of 0. And that all has to equal zero. Okay, now we're going to start to simplify this down. So we're going to have the reaction force at B times 16 feet. And then we're going to do the math on this. And of course this is going to be minus. So we take 100 times the 16 equals and we're going to take this 16 divided by 2 and we're going to reduce that down to 8. So we're going to take the 100 times 16, the product of that, and we're going to multiply that times 8 and that's going to equal 12,800. So I'm going to put 12,800 here. And that, by the way, is uh, foot pounds. And that all is going to be equal to zero. Because up here, RA times zero is going to be zero. Now, continuing on doing the simplification. So RB is going to be equal to 16 feet. And that is going to be equal to, because we're going to add this to both sides of the equation, 12,800 foot pounds. And then we're going to divide the 16 off of both sides. So we're going to have RB is equal to 12,800 
foot pounds divided by 16 and that is feet by the way right there so I take 12,800 divide that by 16 and that equals 800 so R B is equal to 800 and the feet both cancel here so we get 800 pounds so I'm going to circle that okay now with our RB equaling 800 pounds down here I'm able to come up to the top here and finish this equation so RA plus 800 pounds equals 1600 pounds and simplifying that RA is going to be equal because we're going to subtract 800 from both sides is going to be equal to 800 pounds and I can circle that so I went ahead and drew uh, the shear diagram for this one this is the force up here that's the uh, RA and that is going to be 800 pounds and that's a positive number and then we have the uh, negative 800 pounds at the other end so I drew the zero line in and then I went up some amount for my forces I just use a couple blocks here just to illustrate this and then I went to the other end of the zero line and I went down two blocks and then I drew a line straight line here and this line represents the force and it's a straight line because this 100 foot pounds is distributed evenly over the length of the line so that's its magnitude okay so I've drawn uh, my uh, diagram here my moment diagram and I've also written down here that the moment max is equal to the area under the shear diagram to the left of center so here is the area under the shear diagram and this is to the left of center so we're going to need to solve for this by doing a formula here and this is one half the uh, 800 pounds because that's right here so that's one half the 800 pounds oops I gotta put the LB on there there we go times the distance which is eight feet so that's eight feet so because this is a uniformly distributed load we know that uh, the weight here this is this is 800 and that's the base times the height and that is going to be uh, eight feet so we take our calculator and we take uh, 800 times 8 equals divide that by 2 and that equals so our moment max I'll have to write that down here moment M A X equals 3200 and that is foot pounds okay so just to finish this up I had drawn this already and please excuse this side of my uh, drawing uh, the moment diagram is going to look like a parabola and that is because that the uh, forces are equally distributed and to finish this up our moment max is equal to 3200 foot pounds there we go